I'm Jackson. And I'm Juliet. Coming up on today's show, we take a look at an award-winning video from the art class. And we have lots of upcoming events from the Black Student Union. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned, you're, you're watching, watching Roar TV. TV. Hey Oviedo, today is February 16th, 2023. One of our crew members, Malachi Pabone, recently produced a video contest submission for the Inspired by Arts contest. The video promotes some of the work of our OHS artists in the production was chosen as an honoree by the Foundation for Seminole County Public Schools. Yesterday, they shared it on their Facebook page. Here's a quick look. My art is inspired by my struggles. My art is inspired by the moon. My art is inspired by culture and how they influence people. Um, my art is inspired by the internet and the social media around it. My art is inspired by dragons. Honor graduates, today is the deadline to submit your form with the name of your OHS faculty or staff selection. The ASVAB Career Exploration Test is your guide to help you choose a better career that best suits your abilities and skills. The test will be given Thursday, February 23rd in the Media Center at 7.30 a.m. It is free. To sign up, please stop by the NJROTC Office Building 10, Room 04. The deadline for sign-ups will be Friday, February 22nd. The OHS Environmental Club will be will meeting Thursday, February 23rd in Building 1, Room 210 from 2.30 to 3 p.m. Join them to discuss what the club layout will be and what you can expect to do. The next French Club meeting will be Tuesday, February 21st from 2.30 to 3 in Miss Huffman's room, Building 13, Room 8, to celebrate Mardi Gras. Please see eCampus to sign up and bring something for the celebration. If you have classes that you previously failed with an F grade, you can start making those classes up. There will be a two-hour session after schools on Mondays, starting March 6th through March May 15th. Once registered, you will receive an email letting you know you can begin the course at home. Assessments must be taken on campus Monday afternoons. Students are welcome to attend the full two-hour sessions, but in order to finish the course, you must dedicate time outside of those Monday sessions. Students must be registered by February 27th using the QR code on your screen. The Black Student Union has a number of events coming up to commemorate Black History Month. Next week is going to be Spirit Week with the following themes. Culture Shock, Those Who Stood, Artists and Athletes, HBCU, or College Gear Day. Check out the flyer on your screen for more details. Come celebrate Black History Month with a cultural showcase featuring live music and dance performances on Thursday, February 23rd at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Admission is free. For those interested in performing, there will be an open rehearsal slash audition tonight at 5 p.m. in the auditorium. The Black Student Union is also hosting a basketball jamboree on Tuesday, February 28th at 6 p.m. in the RWL gym. Teams of five are $15 and individual entries are $5. You can sign up online or in the Commons during both lunches through next Friday.
Games will include 5v5, 3v3, 3-point contests, dunking contests, and more. Admissions for fans is free, and concessions will be stolen. Participants must be registered by February 21st. See Ms. Finnegan in Building 8, Room 220 with questions. The annual prom fashion show is next Thursday, February 23rd during both lunches. Hey Oviedo, I'm here with today's Black History Fact. First published in 1936, the Negro Motorist Green Book was a comprehensive guide for black travelers about locations across America and eventually overseas that were either black owned or didn't engage in segregationist practices. The guide was printed for 30 years, ending its publication in 1966, two years after the Civil Rights Act was passed. Earlier this month, your Oviedo boys basketball team took on the Titusville Terriers. The Lions would start off strong. A strong drive to the basket for a bucket by Jackson Latour. Two straight threes by Ryan Blunt would put the Lions up big in the first. A three by Alex Harper would start the Lions off nicely in the second. Another three, this time by Latour, would keep that momentum pumping. A layup over a fallen carrier by Grady King would give the Lions a 41-20 lead at half. A 3 in the third by Nathan Darmafall would keep the Lions up and they would stay strong through the rest of the game. Your Vito Lions beat the Titusville Terrier 65-32. With O-Town Sports, I'm Noah Vernon. That's all we have for you today, Oviedo. Good luck to boys basketball as they take on Lakeland in the regional quarterfinal tonight. And as always, go Lions!